What's going on guys, Knoxville363 and a question in reference to how to set uh, custom ringtones for each one of your contacts like say for example I want AC's ringtone to be something and I want Adam's to be different and Adrian's landscaping to be a different one well, let's just run through that really quick if you do want separate ringtones not the ones that come stock on the phone you'd have to download them yourself I personally have used uh, several applications which I put in my Knoxville 360 recommends the following applications video. I use Zedge and I use MP3 Creator or MP3 Downloader. So all you basically have to do is let's just say for example I want Adam or we'll go back we'll do Adam. Okay now as you can see I do not have his phone number. Feel free to email him. But anyways, he's one of my Facebook friends. So all you do is you go to your menu, not edit, you hit option. Okay. Now, if I can have it basically block him, um, so anytime he calls me, it'll go directly to my voicemail. He never calls me, so it doesn't make a difference. But here's the ringtone. Just simply tick the option and you can either load an Android system ringtone or a Zedge ringtone okay now if I go to Android obviously the um, Kirby enthusiasm and I mean I have a bunch of custom ones on here from those applications that I had on there before so I mean you don't have to have default you can use this and just press OK and then say for example her go to menu option ringtone oops and then say for example I want this one organ okay and hit okay and that's basically how you get if you want to change the ringtone instead of default so that you know when specific people are calling you on reference to where I get my music, like I said, I have already stated in my one video, I use Zedge and I use that MP3 downloader. If those programs do not work, then you can use programs like Vid to MP3 and you can convert your YouTube videos to MP3s and then put them on your phone, transfer them to your SD card and then go about it that way. So if you guys still need help after that, feel free to message me. If you've never used vid to mp3 it's very easy you go to the website you copy the URL um, and you paste it in the website vid to mp3.com and it will create all you have to do is do a couple clicks and then that's the end of it so if you're still lost if you have any questions about anything I just discussed in this video feel free to send a private message okay. below apparently I have made a couple people a little paranoid about my last video you don't have to worry about the screen being scratched up and everything if you take care of it all right if you're putting it without a screen protector in your pocket with your keys and change and other things then it could potentially get scratched okay there is no proof or evidence that there is Gorilla Glass on this phone. I'm telling you right now, there's not. A couple people said, oh, I found it on the ZTE website. Uh, I'm not seeing it on the website, and nobody's putting any direct links in my comments. So, and I did post, I said, hey, if you guys are so confident that there's Gorilla Glass on this phone, then I want to see you do a scratch test on your screen and post that. Um, but just to cover that, you really don't have to worry about it as long as you as long as you're not abusing it. By abusing, I mean like you're throwing it around, or you're not literally throwing it around, but you're you know you just like take it and if you're not using it, you just throw it on the table real quick, or you know you just toss it, or you leave it on something and it could fall. That's what I mean by not taking care of it. Um, or if you're just putting it in your pocket with keys or change or something when there's nothing to protect the screen. I have been babying mine since I brought it home, like a newborn, because I, my prevail screen did get scratched and I learned my lesson after that. But he did have a couple questions about antivirus programs, and there are a few. Um, you can, now I don't know why you would actually really need to use these. Um, 
unless you're looking up, well, I don't know, like pornography or you're downloading some really crazy stuff on your phone. I've never once had a virus on my phone. But anyways, the first one, and both these are free. It's AVG, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with from their computer. It's really, really popular. I think that it's garbage, but for the computer. Um, I've Obviously, I've never used this. This is the first time I've used it on my phone. However, that's what it looks like. And all you really have to do is type in antivirus in the search bar in the marketplace, and this one will pop up. Um, another really, really popular one is that I used since my Motorola i1 is Lookout. Uh, Lookout and how these programs work are if you're downloading or if you're looking at something it'll basically scan the file if you're downloading something Anyt anytime you download something from the marketplace it'll scan it up top and let you know hey it's okay um, and it also will show you and the reason and just off topic really quick the reason why it says no service or people make comments like oh my god your service is terrible it's because I'm in because it's I'm in my basement okay and my uh, my service is terrible when I'm in when I'm in my house and especially when I'm in my basement but anyways sorry little tangent there but so I mean I can't Obviously, these are rated really high, but the reason why I think they're rated really high is because, I mean, I don't understand how in the world you can possibly get um, a virus on your phone unless you're doing something really crazy. Like, um, if you look at a lot of adult material or if you're downloading from a lot of websites that you that are not trusted sites so those are two major major uh, antivirus programs for your phone they are both free on the marketplace so feel free to check them out if you have any questions about them feel free to shoot me a pm or leave a comment below thanks